I am Aki, and welcome to All Games No Masters, the GMless branch of the RPG Exploration Society with Saving Throw Show. Welcome, all of you ex uh, explorers to the society. Uh, we're really excited. Today, we are going to be continuing with our playthrough of Death Takes a Holiday. You might have remembered that we left off. Well, things didn't quite go the way that we... Okay, we, we fucked up. We fucked up a lot. Um, what? But everything's did fine. We? <laughs> did we? Everything is fine. It's fine. Um, uh, let's go ahead and uh, introduce all uh, the rest of our players. Uh, let's start with um, Randy. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm Randy Alvarenga. If you don't know from last week, I'm playing Chase Boxmuller here. Um, and I'm very excited to find out the next part of the story. And Amanda. Hello, I am Amanda Powers. Um, I am playing uh, Athena Boxmuller, uh, wife, trophy wife of Basil Boxmuller. Uh, and yes, I am excited to see what ridiculousness she gets up to tonight. And last but most certainly not least, Max. Hi, everybody. I'm Max Isaacson. I'll be playing uh, Basil Boxmuller, proud husband <laughs> to a trophy wife. Uh, <laughs> So we here at Saving Throw Show thrive on your tips, bits, and subs. So that's what keeps the lights going on here. That's what makes sure that we can produce this excellent content for all of you. And in that spirit, we do have a few goals uh, in order to be able to continue to do this awesome stuff. The goal for our show is a $1,000 or 400 uh, subs goal, which will unlock an additional episode of this show once we uh, finished up. We only have three more episodes after this one. So if you do not want the fun to stop, you should definitely donate or gift out some subs. Uh, I would love to be able to hit that goal because then we get to like play more games with you. Um, and also if you would like to send us a message in the bottle, you know, perhaps even from death himself, uh, you could always gift five subs, donate $15 or 1500 bits and send us a message in a bottle. Uh, also, make sure to check out Tie Hard Dice, where you can save 10% by using the code saving throw at checkout. Uh, use command exclamation point DH dice in chat for links and info. And if you like what you see, you should consider backing the Saving Throw Show Pantheon so they can continue to build the channel. Uh, things can get a little bit wild in here. You know, the place is overrun with kobolds, and in this case, uh, people who's deaths we did not properly manage it's fine um but five dollars a month is the price of a cheap you know cup of coffee if you're no you're still doing that uh so and it also helps us uh keep our content uh going uh so thank you very much for considering that uh and with all of those announcements uh in the rear view i think i will return the power as it uh were to our facilitator max all right here we go gonna be great you're with us um all right we are playing our second round of death takes a holiday uh the game in which we the box Muller family have become uh interim grim reapers while the bony fellow that you know so well and love has taken a vacation um quick recap we have landed on perdido island we have inherited an amusement park from our dead uncle. Uh, the deed to the amusement park was stolen by a pyrotechnic lunatic named Bobby, who we are unsure if he's actually related to us or not. Um, we've gotten the deed back, I believe, but we're waylaid in the kidnapping and possible torture of Bobby to go to a high school basketball game uh, where... Uh, some ominous visions were seen of clouds rolling in and storms coming. And um, a fine lady was live streaming the game and got terribly electrocuted at the end of doing the wave. Sorry. Um, our bad. Uh, we missed that one a little bit. Um, there was also... Um, some wanton seduction of an entire uh, pub. There was a incredibly old person uh, who seems to work at our inherited amusement park. Um, there was bank robbery and a heart attack. And no, not a heart attack. It was 
Blunt Force Trauma Classic. Um, Blunt and Force a lot of other fun deaths. So, so here's, come, Max, I have to tell you something real quick. Yeah. I am really excited, in case no one else noticed this, that all of this has happened in a single day. Yeah. We have not even <laughs> gone to the hotel yet after ship wrecking on the shore of this island. Oh. It's like, no, like three people have died in the same <laughs> afternoon and we ain't done yet. Uh, I will say that we maybe have been slightly over eager on the killing, although it's not up to us. We have been yeah. sent missives from the great beyond. To it's a really facilitate. bad day for these people. You're yeah. just facilitating. Hey, we're just doing our jobs, kids. Um, so that's where we're at. We're at the homecoming game. A lady has died. And um, we probably should reap her soul within the next couple of minutes, or there will be consequences. Well, I don't know about you, but I think we better start elbowing our way through this crowd. And uh, I do believe I have the opening token. So if somebody does not mind drawing a card for me, I would appreciate it. The gate to move from one stage of existence into the next. <laughs> well, I don't suppose that could have been any more uh, uh, auspicious. They're um, magic. Indeed. So uh, yeah. tell me what that card means to you, Basil, if you would. Hmm. Okay. The lady has died. We are going to slowly work our way through reaping, you know, pushing people out of the way in order to reap her soul. But we've reaped a number of souls today. And the one thing we haven't done is actually taken them to the afterlife yet. So we are going to transition from our reality into the reality of the dead for a moment. Interesting. Uh, what do you think we sh uh, that card means, uh, Chase? Yeah, I think that's a, a, a great beginning. In my idea of this, when we actually get to the other side with the, this woman's soul, that's when we're going to find a symbol from death, letting us know that, hey, maybe you guys aren't doing as good as you think you are. Um, I think we're going to realize that we've been missing out on a couple of people. I see, I see. So there's just the one and done. We grab them, we do the thing, we come back wipe our hands clean. And then there's the other idea where we get her, bring her back and realize, oh, there might be more to this. Well, I mean, I don't know about all of you, but I feel as though the second option is uh, likely to be the more, um, uh, uh, I don't know how to do words today. I'm just gonna give the <laughs> opening card to Chase and we're gonna, we're gonna move on. Uh, Let's do it. So I think what happens, the way this opens up is we see the electrocution happen and we all look amongst ourselves and Stell stands and immediately begins elbowing their way through the crowd. And they toss a look over their shoulder and go, we cannot miss our window um, and just starts to make their way through. I believe there is some panic and pandemonium happening in mm. response to this woman's untimely demise. Uh, shrieks of terror, call 911s, that sort of thing. Um, um, I, I can't run in these shoes. So, you know, you seem like you're pretty fast. So. Excuse me, sorry, everybody. Mm. She, uh, they're a doctor. So, you know, don't call 911. We're all doctors. We're a family of Basil. doctors. We're here to help. Ha. Yes, so they, helpful, they, they, they have this under control completely. Well, Excuse me. <laughs> Pardon me. Excuse me. If you would just let me through. Thank you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, dear. And Stell needles down next to the... Kentucky Fried Chicken body. <laughs> Delicious. Extra crispy. I am so very sorry. 
for the pain you must have endured as you passed. But it's all over now. You're going to a better place. And they begin to transition into the place of the... Uh, it does have a name. The yes, Garden please. of Souls, I think. The Garden of Souls. Garden of Souls. I believe that's correct. Come with me, lady. I assure you, you will feel no more pain. Um, what, what, ha what happened? Where, what's going, what? I believe. Oh my that God, is that me? It's better not to think about that. So, so, oh, oh well, I, I had a date tomorrow. Oh, my dear. With you who? don't have any tomorrows tomorrow. <laughs> oh, Basil. And yeah, I think she just like looks like freak, super freaked out and then just like completely locks up and cannot speak anymore. <laughs> just like. And do I see the soul of this? Oh. Uh, Yes, uh, as they are starting to become a little bit more oriented with where they are and they, they cast their eyes about, they see the soul of the woman who is uh, getting ready to pass. Hello? Wait, did we all come? I'm confused, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I think we can all, I, I I'll follow to this... along to the, to the Garden of Souls. Yeah, that seems- Oh, like I was, okay, so we're all and... already there. Okay. Who, uh, just so I remember, who reaped the bank robber? Uh, I believe it, that was Chase. Yes. So Chase, let's say you've got that I, nice I, fellow. Okay. No, I think, uh, Athena, you and I were waylaid by um, some old friends that we ran into. And did we kill um, anybody else? Yes. No, nobody else has died. Was it, wasn't it that guy who was outside when, uh, like, when the mob was chasing Oh, Bob, no, that's Bobby. He was fine. Yeah, Not Bobby, but like there was a guy was... in the audience. Like, in the... Killed a dude in the oh, audience? we didn't kill oh. him. That was, was something killed. else. Oh, yeah. that was something else. Okay. Oh, yes, he was. He had other problems. Okay, so we've just gotten the two. Great. All right. So, Chase, I, if we're going to the oh. Garden of Souls, you've got your, your guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> and then... Looks like I forgot to bring you last time. Forgot what? to bring me what? Um, here to your new home. Welcome. <laughs> what? what? Did I like win like a cruise or something? Is this like a? How, uh, more like an eternal. It's not quite a vacation. A but... slumber. Yeah. Yeah. A rest. Mm. Eternal rest is where you oh. are. Do I get to keep this shotgun? Um, you're not holding a shotgun, my friend. Look. Can I buy a shotgun? <laughs> I do not believe the afterlife has a gun store. Mm. It sounds like it uh, sucks. I do not want to be here with someone who has a shotgun. Well, obviously, lady, I don't know. Because this place well, sucks. I'm just saying I don't think they should give you one. Because, like, <sighs> I, okay, I mean, okay. wherever we are, I don't think it would help. Well, didn't really help me that much in my life anyway. Didn't that rob a bank or nothing. Certainly attest to we saw it. Now, you and this lovely lady here, this is where you will um you will be comfortable here. Yeah. Um oh, uh I, and Chase sort of leans over to Stell and is like what happens now? Well, beat if I know. Um, so I've got the twist, um, and I'll I'm gonna play the twist. Uh, this seems like a good time. And what is this card? It is the reversed hourglass to display unexpected mercy. For those of you who like to look at pictures, um, and. Uh, Athena, what's your take on to display unexpected mercy? So uh, uh, I think while we are uh, just botching this absolutely 100%, um, 
Uh, I think I think death has been like occasionally just checking in here and there, you know, just wow, wow, uh, he's on vacation. Um, and I think this is one of the moments that he just happens to choose to look in and realizes how this is all going tits up and just <laughs> goes ahead and like reaps those uh, those two souls for us before uh, going like this. <laughs> loving it okay um stell what's your take um i think that there is a moment of clarity that happens with the two people as they realize their situation and perhaps there's this moment that happens when all people die that they don't know what to do at first and then there's this moment of oh i'm dead it's time for me to move on. That is the direction in which I go to do that. Uh, and they just sort of are able to self-determine uh, where they go next. Um, I think I'm going to give this one to Athena because it sets up something that I find fun. Um, okay. So as we're as these two souls are kind of in the garden looking around being like a little confused and disappointed um and we're sort of like you're here you're dead now congratulations um you win a fancy new car do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> um a a kind of like the storm clouds that we had seen in the normal plane start rolling in over the ethereal plane and they form into kind of a big rictus skull, you know, face. And it kind of looks down. It's like, hey, you guys, this is better. This is more like that. You guys, you two, you got to go in the portal. And they kind of look over and they're like, no. And a big cloud hand just kind of comes down and is like, yeah. And just pushes them into the portal. And as it looks at us, it's like, get it together. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. And out of the cloud, a little ticker tape ribbon floats down. And on it is a message. Um, and let's see, uh, what does the message say? Uh, it says, follow Mr. Heathstonecraft for the day. Wear sensible shoes. And that is the um, Excuse me. I am not wearing sensible shoes. She's Fine. never worn sensible shoes a day in her life. That doesn't That's surprise me either. Absolutely correct. I had a little kitten heel when I was like five years old. It was wonderful. Why does that surprise my favorite thing? <laughs> I don't know. Why doesn't it? Whoa. Back to the letter, please. What? Mm. What is this? Wait. Who is Mr. Heathstone Craft? Well, I don't know. Isn't that what we're supposed to find out? Also, are yes. we still here? or did, Can we go back now? Oh, absolutely. This place is dreadful. And yes, I don't know who Heathstone Craft is, but... I'm sure he's awful, just like everybody else in this town. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Back we Hello. go. Find like a door or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Whee! And I guess um, we, we appear exactly where yeah. we were. Yeah. I assume, uh, yeah. I like that. And <laughs> so Stell is holding on to the body of, you know, a fricasseed human and kind of just looks up. <laughs> at the rest of the, the crowd who has been looking on. I'm so sorry, but I've lost her. She has passed on. She's in a better place now. And that is a medical opinion, so you should take that for gospel. Mm. Uh, ba Basil, I didn't like that place. Oh, my dear, nobody likes that place. Only weirdos. I need a hug, Basil. Oh, uh, me too. We are. Oh. Um, oh, and she's hugging him and she just looks over his shoulder. 
what what's wrong with them and she like looks over at the other the uh visiting uh basketball team yeah and there's just something off about them uh, okay even she notices so it's got to be something <laughs> and with that I would like to begin the next scene. So this is just like continuing from here, but uh, oh yeah, I guess I'll um I won't I yeah. won't use the death and I'll just hang on to it because we don't have any yeah right uh, murder at the moment. Well, not murder. So we keep saying murder, and it's like no, we are not killing these people. They are, we are they are already going to die. <laughs> All right, it's murder. So what I what I drew is. Uh, a card called The Oncoming Storm. It says, events spiral out of control to be unable to control your circumstances. So mm. something spirals out of control. Um, Basil, what does that card mean to you? Oh, shit. Okay. Events spiral out of control or to be unable to control your circumstances. Um, I think when we come back... And there's this fricasseed lady, and Stell has <laughs> announced to the crowd that they are dead. The place just goes bananas. Right? Everyone starts freaking out. And it's like mayhem, pandemonium, everyone's going crazy. Um, and as it's all happening, we see that the opposing team now sees that Athena's looking at them, and they're looking at each other, and they're like, we got to cheese it. And they like, book it out of there and we're just like caught up in the scrum and the other the the weird something is wrong with them team is now running okay cool i, I like that uh, athena what, what would that card mean to you well that was pretty close to what i was thinking <laughs> um there's an idea so i tell me the card one more time i'm sorry yeah, uh it's Events spiral out of control to be unable to control our circumstances. Uh, okay, I'm gonna say that um, not only do they see uh, how Athena is looking uh, at the players, but their fans, like the the other that like that came, also see that, and they get very protective and very upset and start because you know they know something's wrong too but this is their like you know winning star team of basketball players so they look at us know that we're all together and start just coming after us with like a very angry gleam in their eyes because they think that we know something that we shouldn't yeah pandemonium <laughs> pandemonium i like i like both of them um but i can only pick one and I kind of like the idea that, like, whatever is weird about them, we don't know yet. Like, that just sounds really cool. So, for Basil, I, I think I'm going to go with yours. Okay. Yeah. They're on the run. They're on the run. So, uh, so yeah, can you, can you lay the scene for us? So, we get back. Stell has announced that uh, the poor lady is dead and now has become a delicious piece of chicken. Um, and... At that announcement, uh, Stell, would you mind giving that to us again? The, <laughs> she has passed on. She has moved on. She has passed. She is in a better place. Ah! <laughs> and everyone's just like, and like screaming and being like, ah, dead people. And like pushing people like there are like a million grandmothers falling off of rafters. It's wild. Somebody's crawling up onto the ceiling and they're just like, hey, we're all gonna die. And uh as that happens, Athena like locks eyes with the other team and is like weird about you. And they're like, oh shit, we gotta go. And they all like tall, lanky kids and, and the coach. And they're all like, <laughs> like we gotta get out of here. Their arms. And just like, <laughs> their arms are, are everywhere. Are like that? Yeah, yeah, of course. Teenagers are super flaily. That's fucking weird they they skinny flail. kids. And they're just like, oh man. And they just start like throwing basketballs as they as they book it out the doors. Just stop that. Yeah. Oh, ah. my word. 
Absolutely. You're going to tell me we have to run again, aren't you? My dear, it's the only option. You need to wear sensible shoes. Uh, and uh, Stell starts looking around to see if there are like any, uh, di- like just somebody has like an extra pair of tennis shoes that they've looked around, like we're in a gym. Maybe there, maybe there are some just like, you know, spare gym shoes. Just, just, about. just go. I'll, I'll figure something out and like, I'll catch I can up. carry you Thank again. You. I, I'm happy to. No, uh, I don't, I'll manage fine. I guess I can be barefoot as long as you promise. After this, we're going to the hotel, and I can take a shower. We, mm. all of this can't possibly be happening all at once. They have to give us a break. You can't work twenty four hours a day. That is illegal. Death wanted a holiday for a reason. <laughs> yes. I don't care. Yes. We can't souls if we haven't eaten or slept or showered escaping escaping uh, yep. uh Fine. Yeah. let's go oh, <laughs> <laughs> looks over at Stella and says thank you as, as well. despite, her, despite her complaining she's actually pretty fast everybody else i mean i it's imagine not quite it's the treadmill but it's close I imagine it's all that Black Friday training. Anyways, let's go. Um, all right, so we're we're cheesing it after the team, um, and uh, and you know I think like they're going, they're like bobbing and weaving through the streets. Sure, we're kind of following them after them, and um, you know they're young and we're old, so I'm sure that they're, we're not catching up to them as well as we would hope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put a twist in here though. I have the twist here. Mm. Um, I'd like to put the twist in. So um, let's see. Like as we're chasing after them, the merchant to be tempted by financial gain or worldly pleasures. So no fucking clue. <laughs> what? Oh wait, I'm just kidding. I meant no, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> I was like, I don't know why they're mulligans because. <laughs> uh, so yeah. to be tempted by financial gain or worldly pleasures, uh, I'm going to ask Stell what they think. I think as we're running, Athena sees out of the corner of her eye something that, like she greatly desires like that that oh money kind of sets pings really really hard um and uh they become distracted by uh, an an elderly gentleman who is uh meandering down the street um who appears to be fairly well off um and is uh being led by uh, a very expensive uh very well-bred uh dog uh, uh, I don't know which breed, but something that is ostentatious and um, very difficult to get and is definitely very expensive to purchase. Um, but yeah, he reeks of of uh, of of money and appears to be um, uh, somebody of note or worth in this town um, and catches Athena's eye. Okay. Um... Basil. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> Chase. Uh, no, no, no. It's okay. I can make something up off the top of my head. Uh, as we are running um, to chase after the basketball team, uh, Chase, uh, we're running and we run by a large uh, kind of storefront where we see a daytime radio DJ like doing his like, it's like, you know, it's probably 6 p.m., whatever. He's doing like the traffic drive back home radio. Like, hey, it's me. I'm like Jackal in the in the butt. You know, it's like, we're going to laugh. Uh, <laughs> um, and so, and, and there's a big sign right in the front that's like On DJ air. wanted. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> yeah. And so Chase is like, you guys got this. <laughs> you got shit to do. <laughs> uh, that's my pitch. 
Okay, I'm gonna go with uh, Athena getting distracted by uh, a rich looking old man and his very <laughs> adorable dog. Um, so uh, I'm gonna say that uh, while they run, like the team runs one way, uh, the old man is actually, it looks like he's heading for, uh, for the beach. Um, and so she just like grinds to a halt, grabs Basil and is like, Basil, what? Basil, yes. I smell, I smell money. Oh, well, I've spent most of what's in, oh, oh, all right. You know, you know what that means. I do. I'll take a step back and let you work your charms. We'll, uh, we'll catch up with. You, or you go. I, I'll catch up with you later. And this is happening again. Chase, let's just go. I can't, go I can't get those run way with you. <laughs> I can't do it. No, all right, my dear, my dear. It's all right. <laughs> go. Though, you and I get shrifted quite a bit with these two. I, I think they forget that we're we're working a job or or, or whatever. They're just always. It, it annoys me. Let's can, can we catch these guys? I think we will have to absolutely try. That's for sure. Ta ta. You're not coming. Okay. Oh, I have to console my poor grieving lady wife. You're worthless, Basil. <laughs> if, no, if I'm worth quite a lot. But good idea. Them, go go. <laughs> so, okay. That that does split the party, so I'm, or at least for for me. So I'll I'll, I'll uh, join you. We can bounce back and forth, though. Yeah, we can do this. I'm like, we got okay, this. so we're uh, we just uh, we head down to the beach and are just like keeping an eye on this dude because what if who knows maybe he's the the guy we have to reap. You never know. We should check uh, just to make sure because money. <laughs> you don't need money when you're when you're dead, right? So. Yeah. We're just kind of like hailing this guy for like a little bit, like very, because holding hands, just like, oh, we're just out for a stroll. Oh, Basil, look at the moon. There it's coming out. Oh, the sun is Round setting. You can already see it. It's so hey. big up there. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I was going to say, Basil, you know, I'm just round in all the right places. That's what you love about me. You are my moon, darling. <laughs> oh. That's so sweet. Um, so and they're just down. Right and eventually, <laughs> I think eventually they come across where they uh, where they shipwrecked, and uh, oh, yeah, and that's like oh oh I didn't want to come back here. This is awful. And um, how, as they come back there, you know, stuff maybe from the wreck is like starting to uh, wash up on shore. Uh, and so the old man, the old rich man with his fancy dog are kind of walking along and like seeing this stuff wash up and being like, and they're like a little confused. Um, what? what on earth could this be? Ooh. Uh, hmm. I Honey, do you want to what? explain this to the man? Oh. What am I supposed to explain? Well, it's, um... Yes? From a... Ship? Shipwreck? <laughs> oh, dear. It looks like it's from a shipwreck. <laughs> oh, dear. A shipwreck? Oh. Yeah, I mean, I think... I, I'm i pretty sure we were the only ones that... We were the only um casualty... I mean, I'm... uh. We were the only ones that were on it, I think. Yes. Oh, then what would you say about that there? And he points over to what looks like like a hunk of metal that's just like crashed into a rock. It looks kind of yellow, um, like it could be like part of a, a school bus or something. <laughs> Um, well, rude. 
I would say that that is probably from another tragic accident. Yes, I, 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 uh, I walk here multiple times in a day, and it, it wasn't here before this afternoon. And um, I think for the first time probably in her entire life, Athena is struck with an intelligent thought. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> and is like, hold on now, everybody. This might be, this might be. Basil. Yes. Basil. Yes. How did the other team get here? Well, boat, I suppose. Now that were, I think about it. Were there any other boats coming in uh, this afternoon? There's a, there's a couple of fairies that come in this afternoon. Right. But, but usually people park their cars on, on them. But bus, the, yes. the, what about the ones that can hold a bus? There's only one that I can think of. Oh. And no. it, uh, it is. Is it, day. Is it that, that one? Is it the one that... And she just points it to, like, the rest of the wreckage. <laughs> a sign that Do says, like, need... USS bus holder. Uh... Are, you, are, you, are you so old that you need glasses to see that far away, sir? <laughs> yes, one moment. Oh, it does seem that you are correct. <laughs> right. And he, he just, like, picks up his dog and is like, hmm. Okay, well, have a nice night, sir. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> oh, and... I'm sorry, but I didn't get your name. Oh, uh, it is Miss, it's Heath Stonecraft. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> oh, great. Mother! And you're just like, if this is like, <laughs> this is like a TV show, you would just have at the end of being like, Mother! And... <laughs> er. uh, and, yeah, you uh, want to cut over to these yeah. turkeys? Uh, yes. All right, so I think Stell and Chase continue to give chase, um, but are probably outrun by the younger uh, and seemingly healthier uh, basketball team who have vanished uh, a bit from sight, but not yet from sound. Uh, and do you do you hear the hat? Yes, I do. What 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 is it? I mean, it doesn't necessarily sound like. Why are they making those noises? Uh, I don't know. It sounds like maybe they're dragging something. <sighs> oh. What? Uh, what could bounce? Maybe, maybe they're just bad. Maybe they're they're tired from playing basketball. <laughs> Perhaps, but uh, I mean, I can't see them anymore. Don't suppose they wait. Hold, hold on. Oh, oh my. Oh, uh, does that to your eyes appear as though one of those players is dragging an entire leg? Oh, my word! Yes, it does. <laughs> that's that's a first. For sure. Hey guys. Hey you guys, check this out. It's from Todd. He doesn't even know he stole it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like holding the leg. And the toes on the leg are kind of still wiggling. You can see like the leg is doing movements, and I'm like, check it out. Check it out. What what mm. I don't think I understand what is happening here. They stole my leg is what's happening. Oh, hey, Todd. So comes and limps up. One of the players just, like, limps up behind you all. That's not funny, Rob. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, how, how are you still moving? Um, And I try to touch them. Just like, oh. Hey, dude. Oh, you're wet. No touching. What? Why are you so wet? Why are you so judgy? I'm sweaty. Oh, you're like, like a basketball game. We just yeah. won a basketball game, Todd. Because yeah. we the best. Yeah. Oh. The like, best. Chase smells his hands, and it's just like super salty. <laughs> it's just 
just oh. like None the Perdido Island drink. death. Yeah. Salty because they lost to the best <laughs> basketball team in the world. <laughs> Can I yeah. ask you, did y'all do any swimming in the ocean for you uh, played a game of uh, basketball today? Uh, no, strange lady. I can't swim, okay? Bud, look, Swimming's I stupid. walked all the way across the bottom of that ocean to get here. By the oh, way, Todd, wow. here's your yeah, life. That's amazing. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah. Rob, yeah, just so you know, I'm no lady you've ever met before. That's for sure. In fact, I'm not a lady at all. But what I will say is that if y'all have been walking around on the bottom of the ocean, that's a problem. Right. Well, I mean, like, seemed like a solution to me. Duh. Why, why, why yeah. were you walking on the bottom of the ocean? May I ask? Um, did well, you have a, a? Do you have? Did you have assistive equipment to do that? Like, what, like Todd's what? dumb leg. <laughs> <laughs> what do like you mean, an like, air supply, like, like, like scuba diving, or? Oh no, I hold my breath really, really well. Mm. Like, you can do it for like. 40 minutes. And, and, <laughs> and, and, and you two very entertaining fellows. Um, where are, are you from the island or how far away? Uh, do I'm we gonna, look? All right. Someone like another, like, uh, like a quiet dude who's like, you could tell is like probably like the water boy or something. <laughs> just like comes up to you and it's just like, don't, don't listen to them. I, I think we're dead. Oh, Stell, I, I, I think we've missed some people. Some and, uh, people? This is an entire god plus day. I've got, a uh, on that, I have the death. I'm not going to use it, but I'm going to say the, uh, realization of that death is the uh, end of the scene. Uh, so, okay, so what? We've got us down at the beach. We got them. Um, I've uh, got the opening, so yeah, I can, Max I can the opening, so kick us off up, with dude? a new scene. Um, let's do can a, we please a, take a nap? I was going to say, <laughs> we can do a short time jump. And, um, and, Maybe we uh, all meet at the hotel and regale each other with the stories of what we have discovered. Well, let's see what the Athena what, gets her bath. <laughs> what the cards have in store. Indeed, the cards tell a story. The scales. To make a fateful decision or to judge one's purity. Mm -hmm. To judge one's purity? Those yes. are two very different things. <laughs> yeah. To make, well, a, to make a what? Fateful decision. So a decision that will affect someone's fate. Um Chase, how about you yeah. throw you under the bus, as it were? No. Uh, so I think we... <laughs> Sorry, that went for a second. Uh, anyway, I think um, we get back to the hotel. Um, I, I assume that, you know, Athena and Basil, they, they share what they've, they've learned. We share what we've learned. And we start formulating an idea to get these people where they need to go because obviously we fucked up and they need to be dead so i guess we need to figure out how to do that because i don't know <laughs> okay uh legit um stell what what's your pitch oh Aki. no Aki? Oh, still so sorry. <laughs> That's me. Um, Chase, was your was your pitch closer to like uh, fate, or was it closer to? I, I would say it's probably to decide their fate is how cool. I was interpreting. All right. So then, to judge one's <laughs> purity, then um, I want to say that our scene opens um, with. All of us having come to grips with the fact that we have not been very observant um, of our duties 
uh, and haven't been putting the pieces together quite as quickly as we should have been. And as such, are now in a position where we have to prove ourselves capable of doing the job we were given in order to be given a chance to move on ourselves when death returns. Mm. The stakes are if we don't fix this, things get screwed up for us when it's finally time for us to properly die. <laughs> that sounds very nice. I like that a lot. So, uh, Stell, you can take the opening token. I would also do um, it <laughs> Oh, that's very kind of you. So uh, we're all back at the hotel. Athena has had a decadent bath uh, in which many aromatics and candles were probably involved. Uh, Basil has had four drinks. Um, <laughs> uh, Chase and Stell have obviously gotten uh, the bellboy, the four bellboys who work at the hotel in a rousing game of Russian roulette, and one of the bellboys has accidentally shot their ear off. But outside of that, we're going great. Uh, <laughs> uh, I imagine some food has been ordered. We've eaten, yes. It was delicious. Room service. Um, so, okay, we've reconvened uh, in one of our rooms, let's say, for privacy's sake. And as we are recounting the events of, of the past hour or so, uh, all of the lights in our room just immediately just sort of like turn off and it's just pure darkness and and then the lights click back on and standing in the middle of the room is not death it is a very straight-laced bureaucratic looking man almost preposterously boring looking um in a tan suit with a tan tie and a very ill-fitting white button-down shirt. And he looks and, at uh, you and he's like, what's wrong with you people? Excuse oh, me? What's wrong with your outfit? Are you blind? What? No. This is, oh. this is my oh. uniform. This isn't about my outfit or my eyesight. This is about well, you people. What's how wrong you with present you people? How you present yourself is very important for your career and for your just the general perception people have for you. How do you expect to be taken seriously when you're wearing tan on tan and your shirt doesn't uh, fit? You know? Wow. <laughs> I don't believe that is currently the point. Athena, um, there well, you appear here as point, if um, uh, as if by magic, and you're asking us what is wrong with us. There are a lot of things wrong with us currently that we have very little understanding of what's going on. Which I believe, uh, if I if you are who I suspect you must be, considering your the way you just popped out of the the ether, mm -hmm. um, we mm -hmm. we are a little out of our depth. Yeah. That's really obvious. And he's going to kind of just like reach behind Chase's ear like a magic trick. And he's going to pull out a whole clipboard. And he's going to be like, okay. <laughs> what? First of all. Wow, you know magic? Oh, my God. <laughs> you. How did you do I'm that? I'm really, uh, I, I'm not going to lie to you. Miss uh, Boxmuller, you, Ms. <laughs> you are, it, it does say it here the thickest person in the world, which is uh, in a world of seven and a half billion people or give or take. I think she believes that's spelled with two C's. Yeah, but only right. when it only where it counts. Yeah, right, good, okay. <laughs> like, well, like in, the, in my wallet. Oh, you thought I was gonna say something else. I meant that too. No, it actually says I right here, it says in my wallet. No, I got it, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm seeing that there are four box mullers on this island and you've all been requisitioned to do one job, which is make sure that dead souls are taken to the garden of souls. And we are reapers. You. That's 19 behind what there should be. I'm sorry. Did you oh. say 19? Yeah. It says here 19. You've been on this island for six hours. That means you're missing just over three people an hour between the four of you. 
Well, on well, average. To be fair, I think we know where they like who they are now, but I don't death didn't tell us everything, you know. Like he didn't tell us what we're supposed to do um about ones that we may have accidentally not gotten to in time. So what do you say to that? We weren't properly informed of our duties. I want right. to inter I believe I have the the twist twist coin and I'd like to introduce the twist now. Yep. Um can somebody draw for me please? Yep. Uh <laughs> Flames to destroy <laughs> utterly. All right, to my face. I that's immediately where I went to uh, as well, Max. So how about you tell me what flames means to you, Basil? To destroy utterly. Okay. Um, so I like this idea that we were running with of of we fucked up, and if we don't get this done right, uh, we don't get to move on to the afterlife. So uh, the bureaucrat, as I suppose we can call him. Um, what he is going to do is start descent is start taking us away. And so he's like, you've clearly not done the job. This is not up to par. We need to obviously get rid of you here because you're useless. And so parts of us ha will start to just disappear and blink out of existence uh, until we can get the job done. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, and Athena, what, what about you? What do you think flames means in this context? So to destroy, I mean, utterly, like the thing that popped into my head was we are in, obviously we're, we're inept. Um, I'm assuming this dude is here to kind of help set us straight a little bit. So I'm gonna say that he pulls like one last bit of like, of some, of some whatever he is magic uh, out of his back pocket-ish and like hits us all with it. And I think it changes like it destroys one one fundamental part of our personalities each that like may or may not make it easier to or or make us better at the job oh, we're supposed to be doing. I'm so I'm sorry. That's so good. Go. <laughs> That's so the good. correct choice. Do not yeah, worry. <laughs> I'm giving I'm giving Athena the twist. That is good <laughs> shit yeah. right there. So do we get to pit like do we want to decide now what we lose? Um or do we want to yeah. like kind of let that uh, yeah. develop organically? Like, I mean, I think since it's not really the focus of what we're doing, I feel like it's better to just be a, like, it's this thing about me. Um, like, okay. for example, I'm going to say that he uh, kind of touches Athena on the shoulder um, and in like two seconds, she has read 10,000 books. <laughs> so therefore she is not the thickest person in the world anymore, but instead has some sense. Uh, <laughs> he took away and your tongue. Not wear heels. <laughs> cool. I like so it. That's what's happening. Uh, I think the bureaucrat touches Stell, and Stell immediately becomes uh, more patient and um, uh, more focused, uh, as opposed to just being like, whatever. Let's okay. I'll go in this direction. There's definitely a more. There's more focus happening, and there's also more patience. I think the bureaucrat touches Chase, and and Chase has has been this guy who um, wanted to get back to sort of living his life, and he is just completely lost all of that like yearning to to be alive again. So he's ready to like like do the, like robocop like we're about to go to do this mission get it done because i'm ready to die so i don't even want to live anymore um and i think uh when he touches athena's shoulder basil's like hands off my cheesecake and like goes to like smack him and he just kind of touch like pokes basil in the nose he's like oh <laughs> and and basil now cannot hear Athena's voice. Like still very in love with her, still knows she's there, but just can't hear her voice. Whoa, that's sick. Okay. Wow. So okay. all of us go through these transformations and we all kind of just sort of blink at the bureaucrat and go, Well, that at least should get you going. You okay, have... Whoa, 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 whoa. We have to take this just a little bit at a time. 
um, what are we supposed to do now? How do we, how do we, no, there has to be a plan though, you know, it has to be a lot. Well, I think that's part of our job. What is this? What does this mean? This is a clipboard, ma'am. This is a pen. What I'm saying is do what's on the clipboard here. It says you have to take these 19 zombies. I can read, you know. All right. I'm really not that. All right. You can. I did that. (laughs) Okay. Well, you read the clipboard. Everybody, Box Millers, it's been an absolutely awful experience meeting you. I hope to never do it again. You have 24 hours or we will blink you out of existence and you will never be able to go to the afterlife. Have a lovely evening. Mm. And the lights click down and they click back on and the bureaucrat is gone. Okay. Um, can there says- can there be a postcard when the lights come back on? Yeah. Cool. Yes, tell us all about it. All right. So oh, yeah. when the when the lights come back on, the there is a postcard on like the bed stand mm-hmm. next to, you know, the complimentary. Is it cool chocolate. if I read the clipboard first though? Yeah. Read as to what it oh, says. Yeah, yeah. It could okay. be underneath the <laughs> So the Oh, okay. Oh, how he's getting mad at us. How delightfully mundane. All we have to do is recreate how they all died. And then apparently apparently the dead are stupid and will think that it's real and then then we can reap them like a second chance. So all we have to do is, you know, fake the circumstances of a boat sinking that affected 19 17 we we got 17 that. uh basketball players differently how hard could that be uh, does it I, make- actually I, I, now that i think about it wasn't there that one zombie in the in the alleyway when we confronted bobby oh yeah oh yeah with the the jaw thing and the yeah we the need eyeballs. to determine how exactly he died cuz i have not a clue well, we okay. could ask him. Well, I'm sure he'd know. This town is overrun with zombies. So we have the okay, 16 wait, no, we need a plan. plans. We do. Well, I I do have... Uh, there's this postcard here um, that I think might be of some use. It's a yes. clue that I think might start us in the right direction. Uh, it, it says... Um, when the fat lady sings, the show truly begins. Be sure to get back row seats if you're playing to win. Hmm. Oh, oh no, we forgot it. We forgot about Mr. What's his name? Uh, Mr. Stonecraft. What about him? I mean, what about who? We haven't reaped him either. Maybe he's maybe he's still alive and we still have a chance. Um, Basil, 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 honey. Basil? Basil. Yes. Still. Basil, you oh Basil. Can you? What yes. You, I mean, Basil, you can do you see not me, right? Basil, can you not hear your wife? And she just walks right up to him in his face and is like, "What are you doing?" I don't know. Making funny pantomimes, just like you, <laughs> Del. No, I I'm talking, Basil. I'm talking. They can hear me. Basil, do, oh. you, do you hear a thing? What the fuck? Basil. Yes, yes oh. I can hear you very well. Lovely, yes, yes, lovely voice okay. for radio. Okay, okay, okay. so so we have to find we have to find Mr. Heathstonecraft and then we have to Did find Mr. Heathstonecraft who- die? No, he's no, but very we got old. The card. We got the postcard saying we had to follow him and wear sensible shoes. But that you doesn't follow? necessarily mean he was going to die now, does it? Yes, that's why we get the postcards. Every letter does lead to Every a death. Every letter equals a death. But what? Maybe if- not his. Look, death isn't always clear. I, I think we know that from zombies being here. I think. Maybe that was meant for us to understand the situation with the bus. No? Oh, maybe. The old man and his funny dog lead us to the bus, which shows us that the basketball team is not dead as they should be, and now we're 19 souls behind. Good. 
Okay, well, one of us, maybe we should split up again, just briefly and track down Mr. Heathstonecraft and then go to the theater? You know, I guess maybe we should split Since... up and try and track down Mr. Heathstonecraft and then maybe go to the theater. Oh, it's well, this uncanny. is going to be. You know what, Chase? You go with Basil. I will accompany Athena. We'll do. Basil, you. All right. Well, let's. Go. I. I may have. Listen, I may be different now. You know, I've read a book or a lot of books, but I can still smell money. So. You follow me, we'll end up on his tail post haste. All right. It's a natural talent. They can't take that away. Of course. You and Basil head to the theater, and we will meet uh, up with you post haste. All right. Provided that he still um, have, does not die. Very I well still said. have the death. So I know. Clearly I know that's I know. not happening again. Um, but I, I think, as the death card holder, um, We'll, I would like whoever has the opening now to like start a new scene and we'll have a new card to play off of. So I think that's you, Aki. Uh, I do have the opening. Can somebody draw a card? Do you I bet. Card. Oh, Tell me when to stop flipping. And stop. <laughs> this game is so cheery. Uh, I, think I, I think I drew this card last time, but uh, the void to lose all that you value. Oh, uh -oh. yeah. That's oh, long. Okay, so I'm going to ask Chase, what does that mean for you in this case? As we're setting up this next scene to head towards Mr. Heastonecraft in the theater. I think for Chase, that would mean giving up, like, so Chase is really proud of of being a radio personality, being popular, he's kind of already given some of that up. I think what else would be is maybe he renounced, like just feels that there's no point of, of, of trying to do this. Like he's not gonna get to the afterlife. Like maybe he gets depressed and um, down because he, he feels that 17 people trying to find them, recreate their death, 24 hours is is impossible. And so as he's going with Basil, um, you just see him sort of going, this is impossible, and, and just sort of getting down. And Basil's actually having to help him uh, do that, through that. OK, Basil, what does the void mean for you? Um, I would say that this intrinsic shift in the group um, Basil doesn't quite understand what's going on. He thinks Athena is doing pranks. And Athena feels like Basil is maybe a little bit of a dum-dum now. Um, and Stell is like, oh my God, I can't deal with these people. Like I have, we have to do a job. We have to get this done. No, they have um, patience now. That's true. They do. They have, that, they have patience, but you know, an understanding of focus <laughs> as well. Uh, and Chase is kind of looking at this like this is all a wild distraction like what is even happening we had lives we wanted to live um and so they all feel disconnected from each other i think i i think i like that the the cha the fundamental changes that we've been through have changed us to where we we are we are we are starting to become disconnected uh i like that very much um, so I think that as Athena and Stell are going to catch, uh, Mr. He Stonecraft, um, I think Stell can feel Athena's kind of frustration with the situation with her husband. Uh, and as Chase and, and Basil are headed to the theater, the two of them, uh, are also dealing with their sort of uh, feelings of disconnect. Um, and I think that uh, we can probably open up the scene with the, them confronting those feelings a little bit as they head towards their goals. All right. Chase is putting on a nice dinner jacket for the theater. Um, all right. So the plan is we go in, we try to find these 
whatever this clue is leading towards. So a, a fat yes. lady singing, right? Is what I think. Agreed. We'll find the fat lady singing, and I'm sure we'll just kill somebody or whatever, and go on with our lives like this forever. That you're right. That seems Basil. Pleasant Basil? enough. Basil, why why can't you hear me? No, I am really getting sick of this weird prank Athena is doing. It's not. It's, a prank. it's not a prank. He's. You know what? Oh, I know. Oh, sorry, I'm I know getting how sick of this prank all of you are doing. I know. I know how it looks. Okay, I know how it looks, and I'd be lying if I said that marrying him wasn't at least partially for his money. But I actually really like him a lot. You know, like he really cares about me. No one else gave a shit. He really, he really cares about my my happiness and 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 just about making me smile. And now he can't even hear me. That is uncharacteristically forthcoming of you. Bravo. I don't want Athena, applause. I want. I don't know. I want him to be able to hear me. Well. If this is going to keep going the way that it's going with all your funny little in-games, I feel like quite the fool. I'm Thanks. going to the theater. I will join you, unfortunately. Great. Chase, that will be pleasant. Anyone who will actually look me in the eye and speak to me is more than welcome. And I'm out. As, as, as. Yeah, as we walk out the door, Chase sort of stops Basil. Basil, it is not a joke. We are not playing some weird game. Athena was in there trying to communicate with you, and she can't. Do, do you understand? Well, yes, I suppose. But how do you mean can't? I mean, everyone else in the room can hear her. Are you really that dense? I'm, I'm actually not surprised that you two ended up together. Yeah, we're a perfect couple. We're amazing. <laughs> the point but... is, whatever that bureaucrat did to us, she can no longer communicate with you. Oh, my word. Do you know what this means, Chase? What does this mean, Basil? I now have a reason to stare at my wife all day long. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Let's get to the theater, please. Oh, I can't wait. This is great. We can just ogle uh, and ogle and ogle and ogle and ogle and ogle. Athena, uh, uh, she's putting on an, an, a pretty normal outfit. I'm not sure if the power works if I'm not dressed for it. So, you know, just to be safe. Um, I'll pack sneakers in my purse. Of course. But let's go. Let's go because the sooner, the sooner we can get this over with, um, maybe, maybe the, maybe that's just temporary, you know, like to as like a punishment. But then when we get it right, they'll, they'll, the, he'll change his mind and he'll put it back. I right? certainly hope that so. Might, that might happen. I certainly hope so. I, uh, I'm sorry okay. that you're having to deal with this. Oh, don't worry. We're we're box millers. Something like this will, won't take us down or give us pause. We still have things to do. So certainly, um, let's let's just sway about our business. I, I, uh, she points and like like a legit bloodhound, like a she literally sniffs the air sometimes as they as they go and wind around and try to find uh, uh, Mister Heathstonecraft. Uh, and you know, I don't think it takes very long. Necessarily, I think I think they're all business, just trying to get this. Like, so he is, he is a, uh, he is an old man, and it is like eleven a.m. So uh, Athena reasons that he might be at uh, the local diner for the senior lunch special. Just, just, just a, just a guess, right? It's the only place in town where you where that has a senior lunch special. Uh, so she gets, she stops, and she's like, "Okay, so I smell two things: a patty melt 
and old man money. That sounds about right. Uh, let's head in that direction. Oh, patty melt smells, but sounds really delicious right now. Anyway, oh, I'm so hungry. Uh, does that open is that something heart. you've noticed? Is, does you do you always feel hungry? I wonder if that's a side effect. Of oh, I've been dead. hungry since I was twelve. Oh, I imagine. <laughs> Um, anyway, so the door opens and like a bell jingles and, um, <laughs> and, uh, and they open and they're looking and there's, you know, there's, uh, there are some seniors in there, uh, oh, more than you would wait. hope for as you are attempting to decide which one of them is going to die. Uh, oh, oh, he's over there. Stell, he's over there. Uh, good day, Mr. Heath Stonecraft. I hope we're not interrupting your meal. Oh, no. You should come and join me. Of course. What would you recommend? Um, well, for me, it's anything that I don't have to chew <laughs> without <laughs> these amazing dentures. <laughs> like, hey. <laughs> I'm uh, guessing well, the, the patty mount tends to be quite soft. And he just like kind of lifts the like. There's clearly like half-eaten patty milk. He's like, try, try it. I oh. think I will. Yeah. I will uh, pass. Thank you. Okay. How are you feeling, Mister Heathstone Craft? Really good. I got Should... this patty melt, and I got you two nice people to talk to, and I got a billion dollars in gold. <laughs> Oh wait, is it so is it still me? I have the Houston graph. Yeah. Do you have the twist? Yeah, I think you have I all of I the cards. I think I do. I have the. I have, no, I don't. I don't have the opening. <laughs> have the but opening. the death has it. Listen, yeah, we're gonna use this death card. We're gonna do use it. this death card if it kills us all. Do <laughs> it. Um, okay. Uh, and the thing I said, we also have we do also have the theater, so them. we have opportunities. And use the death card. You can just jam them in your mouth and you just swallow oh, yeah, them. But you don't chew at all. I barely ever even breathe. <laughs> I have scales to make a fateful decision to judge one's purity. Ah, oh, we're doing mm. this one again. Oh, yeah. hello. Uh, oh, did we do this one yeah, already? We, we did it. Yeah, we did. We did. I can try, Actually, I can yeah, try and find a different one yeah. just so that yeah. people playing or watching can know what the other ones are. Um, Fix it up for the crowd. No. Come give me a new one. Ah. Okay. This is not much better. A train wreck. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh God. Mistakes, mistakes have consequences <laughs> that inevitably come back to haunt you. Oh, gosh. Um, I mean. All right, then. So, uh, Chase, what does that mean to you? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, mistake. Uh... Mistakes, mistakes have consequences that inevitably come back to haunt you. All right. Um, while while you guys are in there right before, like, talking with uh, Mr. Heath Stonecraft, uh, you start hearing um, a, a, a mob of people right outside of the store. Um, apparently, some of the, like, a few of the zombie people, like basketball members, are stuck on the island for some reason. We don't know. Um, but they've been backed into a corner by an angry mob. And the mob is going, you don't belong here. You're a monster. I saw you. You're, you're starting to smell really bad. And they're, they're like, <laughs> holding these torches. And, like, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I like, torches? Yeah. Yeah. They're, oh, my they're goodness. Zombies. Would you not have a torch? I would. <laughs> Okay, uh, a train wreck. Mistakes have consequences that inevitably come back to haunt you. Stell. I think that as we are having this conversation with Mr. Heathstonecraft, mm. uh, the elderly uh, zombie from before walks in the door with half of his face falling off and as he walks in it catches he stone craft by surprise and he starts choking on his patty mouth <laughs> i mean yeah. yes 
in order to propel this farther forward, uh, we are going to go with that one. So, um, although, or uh, or maybe rather, uh, actually, let me amend that. He doesn't start choking on his patty melt. I'm going to let you instigate your death however it is yeah. you want to do that um what happens instead is that he stonecraft looks really surprised by his entrance not just because his jaw is falling off but also because um uh there was a rumor going around for a little while that this man had basically like essentially drowned himself in drink and was unconscious for a long period of time people thought he was dead and then suddenly he came back mm -hmm. and everything was fine mm -hmm. um so okay. like he's... I'm going to, sorry, go ahead. I didn't think, I'm no, sorry. no, no, that's basically it. So I'm going to say that, yeah, he, this guy comes walking in, but like he's gotten to the point where he just comes in and starts just like kind of trashing the place. Like he starts upending like just people's food and like dumping the ketchups oh. out and like do like all crazy stuff. And, uh, and, uh, What's his face? The old dude, Mr. Heastonecraft, is is right. suffering the spectacle. Uh, oh, um, uh, Mr. Heastonecraft, oh maybe we should get you out of here. What am I even doing playing Heastonecraft? Randy, this oh, is your character. Well, I know no. you're, you're not in the scene, so yeah, it no, no, no. But it's it, Randy invented this man. Randy, you are Heastonecraft. No. He's, eating a, he's eating a patty right, melt. I'm at, I'm so at. he's just like. Oh. oh, oh! I can't do the okay. whole like no tea for Well, me. maybe. Uh, all right. I guess. I guess we can go. Um, where are we gonna go though? It's it's almost time for my my afternoon nap. Um, Just away he, from here is probably a good idea. And he gets up and he like gets up really slowly, and uh, you all get up to and um. I'd, I say that both uh, Athena and Stell step in like thrown food and like kind of slip a little bit. Um, and uh, <laughs> and uh, Mr. Heathstonecraft, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna save my death thing. Well, I guess I should do it now. Um, and we'll have to do another one for the other place. Yeah, yeah it's fine, we'll do a uh, bunch. Yeah. Okay, so, 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 we're so we're at the we're at a turning point here, uh, a uh, the precipice of of a death. So I'm gonna draw another card and um, try to see what y'all think as far as like tipping it over a little bit more. Okay. Um, although I honestly got a little farther than I should have before I drew this. My apologies. Uh, different one, different one, different one. The stars. Fate is inevitable. Your destiny is foreordained. Um, so, Basil. This is an inevitability. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Heathston Craft is like getting up and he's like trying to protect his patty melt. And Athena and Stell are doing like a banana peel routine, slipping and sliding, but wearing sensible shoes. And so they are <laughs> not falling down yet. Um, and Heaston Craft looks at the zombie who's trashing the place, and the zombie looks at Heaston Craft, and the zombie's like, clicks his jaw back in place, and he's like, I told you, Heaston Craft, when you stole a billion dollars in gold from me, I'd be a god. <laughs> and, um, okay. and the zombie will be intending to kill Heaston Craft. Okay. Uh, Chase? <laughs> Death uh, me. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> he's in here. He's breaking breaking the place down. Instead of uh, instead of him, uh, yeah. Instead of him being the one to look at Heath Stonecraft, I actually think Heath Stone, uh, Heath Stone, Mister Heath Stonecraft. That's a hard long name. Uh, Sorry. Is uh, like is actually more surprised to see him because he owes him lots of money. So he's some craft is, is very wealthy. And so he's like, you, you borrowed a loan from me and now, and then you went and drank it all away. Um, I, I cannot abide by this. He takes his patty melt, just like launches at the guy <laughs> and just like 
Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, he's got a little extra extra fight in him, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, at the end. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that and um, say that he uh, takes those words from the the zombie as as fighting words, <laughs> uh, and he uh, he's like, "Her, I oh God, I don't know how to do this." It's like, "Hey." <laughs> You don't Whose know. character was it originally? <laughs> it was Randy's. Randy's but, character? I'm loving this. Oh, I you know that you Aki, you're going to have to play him in a minute now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone yeah. has to play no, Mr. Like, Graf now. He's like, oh, hey, that's you stole from me. I'm not going to let you get away with this. And he like gets up and the first step that he takes is just boop. He just slips, um, and and luckily, uh, as Athena and Stell are also trying not to slip in the like results of this dude's mess that he's making, um, Stell actually accidentally manages to flail and like whack him in the arm. Uh, so uh, as they all end up on the floor, um, the only problem is since. Uh, Mr. Heathstonecraft is like 99 years old. Uh, Athena fell on him. <gasps> and, uh, and she's thick with two C's. Yeah, and she's <laughs> thick with two C's. And she may have accidentally, you know, Crushed broken him. something that shouldn't have been broken. Wah, wah. Uh, so maybe wah. this death might have been slightly accidental. Maybe. So yeah, she's on there and she's like, oh! Oh, oh, um, well, at, at least we reaped him. Let and me go take him to the garden real fast. That's <laughs> <laughs> like the end. Goodbye. Um, and the all right, so like, he's I'm out of here. <laughs> we're like, guide him. We're wait, like, wait. Okay, here you go. Uh, uh, Aki, can you give us, like, right as he's falling, the last thing <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Hinsnowcraft says? <laughs> Oh, so everyone can be Heathstone Crab? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I told them to stop selling those banana shakes. They were definitely going to kill somebody one day. <laughs> Engrave it on his tombstone, folks. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Okay. All right. So. So the next scene. Uh, so okay, so you are all going to reap. Uh, we have like Houston half trip. an hour left, you guys. Just so yeah, you know, we're to try. That's fine, and and all we right. can go over a little bit in in the in the interest of resolving this. So it is okay if we if we push this a little bit long. Um, but yeah, uh, who has the opener? I do. Um, Great. Okay, let's pull a card here. The opener, the opener, the opener. Soup. Roll the bones. Ooh, I like this to risk everything you value on a gamble. I mean, what better way to end, a, end an expedition? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Athena, tell oh, me what fuck. risking everything we value on a gamble is. Well, uh, I don't think hmm, risking everything on a gamble. Um, so we have, what did he say? We have like one day or like how many, like hours? 24 hours, yeah. Uh, oh man, you guys, I'm really drawing a blank here. Uh, um, well, if you want to take a minute, um, Stell, how about, would you mind opening it so that Athena can then rack her brain? Sure. So Chase and Basil arrive at the theater. Um, the card was uh, one more time. Roll the bones to Roll risk everything bones. you value on a gamble. Um, and as they're walking into the theater, they overhear um, a woman uh, kind of berating the ticket master about, uh, uh, about the price tag of the tickets like i made a reservation under this price and now you're telling me it's this price and the reason why is because with the um shutting down of the amusement park the theater has become the, the island's main source of revenue so all of the ticket prices have gone up um and there is 
a, a light bulb that kind of goes off because this woman at the Ticketmaster is a very large woman who is kind of making these wailing sing-song noises as she, <laughs> uh, as she, um, as she goes. And uh, yeah, when you guys approach the Ticketmaster to ask what's going on, uh, the Ticketmaster tells you that he has a postcard for you. Okay. All right. Uh, Athena. So I think take this gamble, like we're running out of time. Um, we don't really have, um, you know, a whole lot to go on and we keep getting these postcards. Right. So, um, I think we catch up to you, um, at just outside the theater and we end up deciding that actually it might be a better idea like as far as like evening the odds and making sure that we don't get sent like where we don't want to go to leave whatever the theater thing is uh in favor of instead thing just kind of like oh well fuck it like maybe we won't get that one but like let's go and get the 17 you know figure that out instead so it's sort of like the big the gamble is like well we're here but don't do that one let's instead say fuck it and bail and go after uh the team instead hoping that 17 souls versus one will uh win out in the end we'll even out um i think i'm gonna go with um a version of stells uh just because i worry that the bureaucrat will be upset with us and i'm i'm afraid of him um uh okay so here's the scene and I do like the idea of you you both catching up, so I think we'll do that anyway. But Basil and Chase mm -hmm. arrive at the theater, and it's early in the day, and uh, and there is this Zoftig uh, woman there who is berating the Ticketmaster and being like, "I reserved my tickets <laughs> at ten dollars a piece, and you're charging me." Thirty-five dollars. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, we can't. It can't be helped. I, I'm afraid that with the closing down of the theme park, we had to raise prices in order to make up the difference in the loss of revenue that the island is is experiencing. This money doesn't just fund, you know, uh, our own ability to stay open. It helps to uh, maintain the infrastructure of the entire island, ma'am. A racket. A racket. I say. Well, excuse me, excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Hi, are you, you're really hoping to see the show, the matinee, yes? Yes. Well, listen, we, uh, how about we buy your ticket for you and have you join us as, as our guest? But the only thing is we like to sit in the very back row because we think the view is the best back there. You can see the whole stage. Agreed. The only Excellent. Oh, oh. Excellent. So Athena gives the money, uh, gives the 40 bucks, 50 bucks to uh, the teller uh, for the for back row seats. Basil, Basil, did you, yeah. did you just hear that woman? She's rather large and yeah. kind of sing-songy yeah. and she's in the back row. Yes, I don't follow. We don't follow. No, I don't follow you. Oh, uh, we should follow them. Ah. Sounds like the letter. We'll follow them to the letter. Sounds good. Oh my gosh. Uh, Athena walks up to Basil and just like looks at him and is just like putting her arms on his shoulders and is just giving him a very loving look so that, cause she misses, misses him. My darling wife. I want you to know that if you can hear my voice, I love you very much. And I now understand that you've been cursed by a boring little man. And I want that to not come between us. So from now on, I'm just going to stare at your mouth so that I can understand the words that are coming out of it. Oh, 
Stell? And she just looks at him and she's just like, I I think the two of them really we are in love with words, each other. Basil. I would unfortunately have to agree with you. And I think they make a passable pair, I believe. As long as they're happy and not bothering me, I don't care. <laughs> you, you have, yeah, that's not what I expected, but yeah. Is Rump. the matinee starting? We should we should just... get to the back row. As we enter, um, what I'm thinking is potentially it's because this is how the town is making their money. This is a pretty big show that they've advertised pretty well. The the larger lady sits down, we sit down ha- in, in some seats, but ahead of us is a very fishy smell. It smells as if an entire room of people have, I don't know, like like rotten meat that's been left out too long. There's a few flies in the theater. This is like a real zombie Cape Fear situation. <laughs> uh, it's a bit of the catch of the day happening in here, isn't it? It's a, uh, really a full-on sensory experience that they're putting on in here, huh? Oh. Right? That's that's what it is. It's like a 4D thing. <laughs> um, is that? Who has the twist? Uh, you do. I do. Then I will introduce mm-hmm. it. May I please have a card? Yeah. Sorry, I'm starting to lose We've track of who has what. I got you. I think that's sort of my like favorite weird part of this game is that like tokens move so quickly that you're like, I have no fucking clue who's cooking this story up right, right. now. We're just rolling with it, baby. This is the enigma. The enigma. To seek the solution to a mystery. This is actually really, really good for it. <laughs> Great. Uh, uh, and uh, Randy, you have the death, just so you know. Yep. If in case yeah. you didn't. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Hit me, Basil. What does the enigma mean to you? Um, all right. Uh, as we sit down with with the nice lady and we start smelling the fishiness and seeing the flies we look over the balcony and we realize that the only other people in this theater at the matinee are the entire opposite opposing basketball team and and they're just like sitting there like blowing out they're like dude we're the best we're so amazing Whoa. and all they can talk about is how they should have died and they're just like, oh, my God, Glenn, when that spike went through your face, it was, like, ridiculous. You looked so dumb. I, like, instant it, like, immediately, but my phone was broken because we were on a water. I don't know why everyone's from Brooklyn. <laughs> cool. Cool, um, cool. And so, anyway, that's the whole spiel is they're, they're all regaling themselves with, with the stories of their death. Uh, what about you, Athena? What does the enigma mean to you? What was the text again? <clears throat> uh, to oh. seek the solution to a mystery. Uh, okay. So being now a very well-read uh, person, I think Athena wants to just like cut, to, again, wants to just cut to the, the core of everything. Uh, and wants to just stand up to wait. We'll wait and bear it until like partway through the first act. And then she's going to stand up and yell fire. Um, and then tell us, and then all four of us are going, the team's going to go together. You know, they are, is going to try and follow the team out uh, to avoid the fire uh, so that we can potentially usher them where we need them to be. Cool. Cool. Uh, great. Uh, I am going to say that, uh, I like Athena's idea. Um, I think, I think I'm going to give the twist to her. Um, uh, I do believe that I'm going to take the fact that I, I think we've heavily implied that the team is in the audience, um, and that, uh, they're just sitting there ripe and ready. Uh, I'm also going to say that, um, uh, as, as, uh, we are sitting there kind of watching the the play that's going on. What what's a good play? What's a good play for them to be putting on on this little oh, island? Oh goodness. Island. 
uh, a play uh, or a musical? Play, music. I, I don't care. Like, oh. what do you think? What do you we think? Are we're doing? Um, oh, what do you? What's the one on the boat? Uh, what's the musical on the boat? Uh, is it Showboat? Is it? No, I think yes, thank you. They're doing Showboat. showboat? <laughs> they're doing Showboat. They're doing showboat. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, I think that's that as they're is what getting I through. You. A really yes, rousing specific. chorus of a song from one of these musicals, either South Pacific or Showboat. We're never, we're we at, at some point we start not being sure which one it is. Um, a, a, a postcard floats exactly. down and hits Athena in the head. Oh, fuck. And uh, on it, it reads The fun mirrors are fun, the Ferris wheel wheels. But the cotton candy doesn't dissolve like it used to. Uh, uh, Athena, was that another letter? What? Yeah, hit me in the face um, with the sharp end. Um, yeah, and so she reads it out, yeah. out, out loud. And it's like, yes, we'll take them. We'll take them to the theme park. Like. There are all kinds of different things that that could kill you there, right? So, so if we're just like, hey, like, um, maybe like, I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm freaking out right now, but I bet that we can recreate we, we, pretty much anything if we take them there. Yes, we could lie and say that that's the safest way. That the fire is coming from the opposite direction. We could corral them towards the fairs. If we if we yell fire. Their day will have been ruined, and we will offer to make it up to them by giving them a look at the first look at the <gasps> brand new recreated theme park. Mm. I knew I loved That's you still. Wonderful. As, as a friend. Let's do it. Of course. <clears throat> Hold on. I've got You're a really good set of things. I believe in you. And she just goes, she just screams. I'm not going to do it because I care about your ears, but. Stell like kind of books it up the aisle, finds the nearest fire alarm, and just like pulls it. <laughs> Is that a felony or a misdemeanor? Oh, it's a felony. Off, like a, a like lighter and just like light something inside the building on fire, just subtly. Just to, <laughs> so if, just to really send it home. Yeah. We're just gonna cause some property and, damage. Sure, it's fine. And like the fat lady's like a hundred percent in. She's just like, yes. <laughs> She's like, She's like, After let, what they charged let me call me. my nephew Bobby. Um, <laughs> Fuck Bobby. This is the most exciting <laughs> the thing. Pyromaniac family. Yep. Um, All right. Are we going? Are we running? Yeah, yeah we're or... running. Yeah. Hey, and yeah, she like, and just to make sure. Like, like, they're uh, coming out. They're like, oh. Good. Athena's definitely uh, bouncing it's around. Sucked. We were having as such you a good say, time. To draw attention. We didn't even make it to act two. Fucking love South Pacific, but not as much as I love that hot chick. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there are a couple of hot chicks. Yeah. What are we supposed to do with the rest of our day? I mean, well, I'm glad you ask. Case sort of straightens up. I am of the Box Mueller clan. You may have heard of our fabulous amusement park. Right now, we're out of season, but I, I'm feeling a bit down because I wasn't able to see the show. Yeah. And I would love for you all to come and visit our park while no one's there. Rush. Perfect. That Yo. sounds absolutely tubular. Oh, God. Yo, oh, so yeah, there are like no lines or anything like that? We can just all like yours. ride everything and like, is there, is the, does the food work? Is there like, like popcorn and, co and corn dogs and shit? Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure when the last we checked, but I, I can find something for you. Like oh bro, we can't go anywhere sure. without some food, man. Like yeah. that's your growing boys, Every you know. Definitely cotton candy. Oh, I mean, oh so man, I haven't had cotton candy since I was like ten years old. Whoa. It's not like it's gonna kill us to eat it. We can have as much sugar as we fucking want. <laughs> nothing can kill us. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, nothing. Come to our park. <laughs> Sounds great. Right. Let's go. All right, man. All right, let's go. <laughs> as there's a slight fire burning inside this. Yeah. Should we uh should we, we like end it there and just the bird. Yeah, say no death? 
And yeah. yeah, say no death. Yeah. So who has our opener now? You do. Uh, me? Well, will you please draw? How did I end up with all these cards? What's I mean, happening good here? Ideas. Oh. You have good. You have some good ideas today. Thank you. Uh, ah, okay. The throne to wield power over others. Oh, that's a very good opener. Uh, I want to hear what Chase thinks yeah. about the throne. So I think we we corral them all in and and. Chase puts on his best announcer voice and he gets a chance to use it. And he's welcoming everyone to the park and saying, let's go and get, you know, on these rides and everyone's getting really pumped up. But he, but before he, he lets them go and run wild, he starts the old uh, cotton candy machine, which uh, has some sedatives in it to put people to sleep. <laughs> Or zombies to sleep. Only zombies. <laughs> oh, sedatives for the zombies. Interesting. All yeah. right. Uh, I would like to uh, to get a uh, an idea of what's in Basil's twisted mind. Um, all right. This is to control them. To wield power over others. Okay. Uh, so I think when they arrive, the kids following Chase, like the Pied Piper, um, like... Athena and Basil and Stell have run ahead to like get them to the amusement park, you know, kind of churning. And I, I can't remember, oh, was it, what was the name of the weird old person who worked there? Oh, it was I did not Anyway, yeah. Oldie McGillicuddy, whatever their <laughs> name was. Um, I feel like I came up with her name and I can't remember what it was now. Yeah, I don't remember either. I don't have it written down. Anyway. Gotta write that shit down. Yeah, okay. Coke, Coke bottle glasses. Uh, is still there because the they, they can't leave. Um, and so, like, we've run ahead. We've gotten it all set up. And when they arrive, it is, like, a fully running park. And and we're, like, corralling them around and, like, trying to, like, yeah, run them all over the place. Um, so that's – and they're, like, jazzed. They're, like, in it. They're in our palms. And so we're, how did you die? Well, how did you die? Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> all right. Uh, I think I want to go with – Basil. Yeah. yeah. Um, I do like the idea of Chase going like full radio voice, kind of like leading them by the nose sort of thing. So I definitely want to keep that. Uh, but otherwise, uh, Stell uh, and Basil and Athena have an opportunity here at the top to kind of uh, touch base on what they want to do uh, before the, the football team gets here. So as we are running ahead, we are formulating a plan. Oh, I don't okay. suppose any of y'all know which of these rides might best simulate a, a boat wreck. Well, from my understanding of the amusement park, there's uh, either the Tunnel of Love or the Log Flume. Oh, either of those would be excellent. There's also a there's also a roller coaster that looks like it hasn't been inspected in about ten years. But then it's lacking the water part. So, uh, uh, the um, water in each roller coaster seat. Oh, ooh, tell them like a lot of tell the extra them. work. Well, I don't know. Teenage boys are really stupid. It's true. What if we tell them that the they log are quite flume dumb? They open? did believe us. Everyone loves log flumes, right? They love it like ah, yeah. and then you get wet at the end. So, what if we tell them that it's out of commission, but? If they bring these buckets of water on the roller coaster with them, we, they can simulate on the last way on the way down that like it's like ah, water and it's just like you know just some imagination and some some ingenuity. I don't know. That's just what I got. What do you got? Do you really think that? Uh, well, we have the log flume. We have the the tunnel of love, which I just find ironic because you know it's a bunch of, you know, probably incredibly insecure and questioning young men um and then uh, and then the roller coaster but then i know exactly what we'll do the we all love. seduce we the children no that the no of no and no, murder no. them inside seducing is not a, individually in the tunnel of love you there's no it goes like two miles an hour you know like I, it's not really a a killing kind roller coaster why not Let's just Some, go go big or go home, I say. Don't know Basil, what you said. I'm with my wife. 
No, no, Basil. Basil was a was an engineer. Um, in 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 college, he you got his degree. An engineer. Maybe you can I ask guess. him. Have him look at the roller coaster and see if there's something that we can finagle for an accident. Can you potentially jimmy the roller coaster into uh, being slightly more unstable, so as so to cause a fatal accident? Oh, my friends, I can concoct an absolute murder machine. You know, excellent. And um, oh. Uh, Chase, <laughs> you've got such a such a wonderfully powerful voice. Uh, maybe you can maybe you can make it like a a game for them to go get water and come. I don't know. Maybe you can. What do you call it when when sports guys they talk An over answer? the things that are happening? Uh, Calling the play. Like a, yeah, like a like a play by play, oh, play right? By That's play. what they call it. All right. Can you do that, and maybe they'll get all excited. I don't know. I have I an idea. I'm, yes. What? What is it, my darling? What is your? We're on an island. The roller coaster. If we break it in the right spot, we can just launch those cars directly into the ocean. Genius. No buckets of water needed. We've got a whole giant. We've got God's bucket of water right in front of us. This is genius. And Amazing. Just the look of love she gives him is just silly. Just like, it's just, just like full, amazing. like heartbeat, like flutter. A wooga, big wooga energy. All yeah. right. So like Chase sort funny. of runs back to to continue corralling them in the direction. <laughs> oh, they showed up. They're like, they're oh, like, they're, hey. so we're here. Cool. So what's like, what's going uh, on? What? Yo. What's going on? Where do we go? What's happening? Is everything free? Are there like tickets? No, it's just like blank check. This is all Dope. for you. And I would advise that you get on the roller coaster of terror. It is the best known ride in the entire park, and it's all for you. Oh. Yo, yo, Steven, I'll bet you 10 bucks that you scream like a little baby. I'm not going to scream. I bet you're I'm gonna definitely going to scream. I don't give a shit. I love surreal roller coasters. I think it's like really good for like breath control, which is totally helping me with like my killer balling instincts. Like you saw, like I was barely weighted up on that uh, uh, on that court today. I, I managed to dunk on them so many times and you didn't even see me break a sweat. That's all from screaming on roller coasters, y'all. It only That's took it. you to die to be able to do that though, bruh. You know what? Fuck you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. And Athena just like, while this is happening, is kind of like sneaks off for a second. It has like a, uh, wants a backup plan going on, so she's uh, just stop doing a little something really quick just to make sure. And then it's like, okay, are we go? Yeah, boys, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you all like strapped in super safely? And uh, and uh, you know, you've got all your cotton candies and everything. It's uh, you all can right. see like Basil right. and 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 Coke bottle glasses are like in the rafters of the like roller coaster with like welding torches and like butane torches like cutting Yee. things. There's just sparks Yee. like flying out. It's like fucking crazy. Oh. <laughs> we have a twist yet, Maximilian. Oh, do I have the twist? No, I have the opening. You do. I have the twist. No, I have you as the twist. Yeah. Oh dang! You had sorry. No wonder you have the like, twist. Oh, no, You're the sorry. twisty boy. Okay, I'm a twisty boy. Well, then, then in Randy that case. Yep. Let's do a twist. The grasping claw. Ooh. To Perfect. seize greedily or violently. <laughs> um, cool. All right. Um, uh, Chase, let's hear uh, to seize greedily or violently. Yeah, this is this is the chance to just end it for, for, for them, but also for us so that we can finally just finish our dang job. And so uh, as they're going uh, and you, uh, as Basil has sort of rigged the ride to sort of launch out, Chase is also going to take the lever for the uh, like the straps that pull you down into your seat. And he's just gonna pull it with like all of his might that he has to make sure that they're locked into their seats as the ride goes careening off. Cause they walked out of the ocean last time. We gotta make sure they're locked in. Oh, I see. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're uh, walking away from this one. 
Uh, Stell, what's your take on to seize greedily or violently? Um, I want, oh gosh. So I think that the, 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 the basketball team is like super excited for this opportunity to ride the roller coaster. Uh, but their eyes fall as they're approaching the roller coaster on that. Oh, what, a, what is the, where you're strapped to the wall and like just. Oh, like the Gravitron? Yeah, the Gravitron. Oh, yeah. But they see the Gravitron and get distracted by their desire to just inhale as many rides as possible before before uh, doing the thing. Um, and every time like they pass by something like the Gravitron, like their own greed is just kind of like, you know, pushing them to seize on other opportunities to like, like engage in reckless behavior. Um, I think I'm going to give it to Chase. Uh, and so here's kind of how the scene is playing. Basil and Coke bottle glasses are like just going like crazy, like hack and slash with butane torches and angle grinders and stuff. And they're just going nuts on that thing. Um, meanwhile, Chase is like wheedling and like control panels. And he's like, beep, boop, 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 and like getting all the lights going. And Athena is like ushering them in, being like, "Come, come, children, into the roller coaster, into the roller coaster." That's touching terrible. Touching each one of them as yeah, they just go on, just making sure every but, single yeah, one of them yeah, just yeah. on the shoulder, just like, "Oh, so congratulations!" Oh, that's so lovely. And Stell is kind of casually like gets on the roller coaster with them to be like, "I'm the last." In the last line, if anything goes wrong, like these turkeys ain't walking away. <laughs> so they just get on and stuff, you know, and so like that's the scene is Basil's like Frankenstein this thing, Chase is getting it up and running, smoke machines, whatever. <laughs> Prepare to die. You know. Uh. So then with that, I think I want to pull sort of the death card. I want to get ready for them to to say bye bye. But I want to hear how this all works. Um, you have to draw a card. Yeah. You have to draw uh, a card, yeah. yeah. I forgot. Um, ooh. The Raven. Um, why is this one in a lot of color when the others weren't? Cool. Um, to make a mistake or to lose something of value. <sighs> Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Pick me. Pick me. Uh, I have an idea. <laughs> Since you're so excited, Aki. <laughs> so you know how Stell is fought like on this roller coaster too. Yeah. So uh, I don't think that Chase knew that was going to happen, nope. and so when he pulls the lever to make sure that they can't escape, it closes down on Stell as well. And so when this thing goes gets launched into the ocean, Stell's going down with it. Uh, let's see. I want to uh, yeah. give you an alternate. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, tell me the text again because my short term memory uh, is it. To make a mistake or to lose something of value. Okay. I'm going to say that, uh, that Basil has made a slight miscalculation. Um, <laughs> And so if impossible, <laughs> excuse me, he's made, a, he's, made a, he's made a slight miscalculation. And so um, I just have this vision in my head of like, it still happens. Like it's still like kind of sails over the, except for the very last car, which doesn't quite clear. Um, and it just kind of teeters kind of on the edge. And then the scene continues and the four of us have to figure out what that means to try and like, desperately correct it before the deaths don't count, you know, like, yeah. Okay. So, Hmm. I like that a lot. So let's, let's go with uh, yours, Athena. You're not going to let me nobly sacrifice myself. No, How no. dare you? You have done it. Before. I mean, you can do that too. Oh no, you can't. Cause you're in the last, are you in the last car? If you're yeah. not in the last car, you can still go. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just not no, necessarily music. Actually, no. So let's do that. that. Let's let's have uh we open up on the scene, the roller coaster goes, it starts going up, and, and just as like it's launching out, that last car gets stuck on the edge, teetering. Inside is Stell, 
and two of the zombie frat bro dudes <laughs> or basketball players, but kind of like that. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, um, ba Basil, what? How much? How much time do you think we have? Oh um, my! Hold, hold on! Hold on! Um, and she goes. She goes behind the cotton candy machine and she picks up like some buckets that are full of water. And she was like, I really liked my original plan. So this is like, you know, plan B. So oh, here, here. And she gives one to, to Chase. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, Basil, you stay. Uh, oh, I'm right. just like in the come, thing. Come with me, so, come with me. Let's You, let's you know those side like ladders that are on roller coasters that always mm -hmm. make you want to get off? <laughs> like we start climbing up. We have these little buckets with us. That's kind of hard to climb with, but you know, we, we get up there. We're at the very precipice the edge of this i misunderstood coaster. you i thought it had come off the roller coaster and oh. was just like teetering yeah. on the edge of the cliff it's i thought a, that's yeah, where that's it that, that's where it that's what it yeah. is i think yeah yeah not the roller coaster but like a cliff. Oh, so we on the cliff. Climb. Yeah. oh okay okay yeah. so it's, yeah, it's oh. on the cliff. so we run way over to the uh, to the cliff i see so we run over to this cliff with with our buckets there's this last car it's sort of going back and forth uh, um still didn't get it quite right <laughs> Uh, okay, Dude. well, we probably don't have that much. So she, she just like legit just stands there and just goes sploosh onto one of the guy's heads. Um, Chase grabs the other guy's head and just like well, presses it down, like as the guy's trying to talk, just as now I'm just all don't do that. <laughs> still, still, you have the guy obviously you have to still. push the cliff. <laughs> You have to push it. They're still all hanging yeah. off behind, uh, in front of us. We haven't actually managed to kill any of them. Maybe if you get, have if you get out, get no, out, get man. out, Stel, get out, get out, Stell. Maybe it'll. She can't. Hey. They can't. They can't. I can't. Buddy, you know even what these people are doing. This guy just gave me like a bath. Just I'm still stuck in this thing. Do it. My friends are freaking out. No, I don't want to. Chase, Chase gets behind the car and starts call pushing. Call Basil, call Basil. Basil, Basil. Yes? You oh, need help. Oh, this looks like an absolute predicament. <laughs> he like runs over and he's like, stupid noodly arms. See you on the <laughs> other side. Frank check. <laughs> That sounded more like an explosion. Oh no. I think they're dead. And they, I think we all look over the cliff. Do you do you think that worked? Well. Do you think it worked? Hey, hey man in tan suit. Yo. <laughs> Hello. Yes, yes. Uh how 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 oh. how can I help you? How do you keep doing okay. that? Look down there. Look down there. Yes, yes, I see it. And they reach this time behind Basil's ear and pull the clipboard out. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> so it looks like you got all but one, which means you're doing better than you were. There's still that uh, old man who drowned in his own beer. But I'm going to say that catching 16 isn't awful and... I mean, you did lose one of your own in the process, though I imagine death will take good care of that when it suits him. Hmm. You're proud it of does. us, aren't you? You can say it. Yeah. You're, you're proud of us. We did better than we you did expected, it. right? Like that. We are I'm, truly an exemplary. It depends on whether or not you all think you deserve to have what I took from you given back. I, I mean, don't really want it. I do. Please, please let him hear me again. It's really. Listen to me. my husband. You little ruffian. I will kill this whole island for you. If I can hear the dulcet tones of my wife's voice once again. Does that appear to be the only thing that is a stumbling block of the things I took from you? Fine. Boop. You may be able to hear your wife Boop. again, but don't let it distract you from the dis 
from from the duties that you have where it can be taken away. I would never. Basil! <gasps> Stell, should, Stell should be back with you in at least 24 hours. Death isn't going to uh, give up on his holidays so easily. And honestly, y'all need them. <laughs> and she just makes doe eyes at Basil. And she's like, 24 hours, you say? She just grabs him by the hand and they leave. <laughs> as, as they go, Chase Chase realizes that uh, Stell isn't uh, actually dead and would rather spend the next 24 hours also dead <laughs> uh, while they're on their little honeymoon thing. So he just jumps off. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't and handle I, all of that. <laughs> and I think that that is a perfect place to wrap up this playthrough of Death Takes a Holiday. Thank you yeah. so much, everybody, who joined us for these two episodes of Absolute Mayhem and Chaos. Um, we're really excited because we have three episodes left, and our next episode will start uh, our new game that has been Randy's pick. What that game will be will be announced shortly, so please do look forward to it. We are all very stoked about it, and we cannot wait to create language with all of you the only hint I will give you. I think it's a pretty obvious one, but if you, it, it could be anything. Um, uh, but let's uh, go ahead. Um, actually, wait, before we go around the horn, I do want to announce that apparently this Sunday, uh, New Pantheon Never heard of it. Academia. <laughs> I know what that is. Uh, that is, uh, is returning for an all new season with a new cast member hmm. interest peak definitely join this anime good times on sunday at 4 p.m right here on saving throw show again that is new pan heon academy you academia mm -hmm. Acad a show on sunday at 4 p.m uh some some people are in it uh who they are um uh, uh yeah let's go ahead and go around the horn amanda Never can know. you please tell them who you are and uh, uh where they can find you um yes i am amanda powers and despite my excellent acting skills i am not actually married to max <laughs> <That's true. laughs> recently divorced. <laughs> oh yeah uh and uh you can find me on twitter uh, at geek powers that's it awesome. really awesome okay and Randy, where can they find you? Yeah, you can find me on Twitter at Rollaraja, R-O-L-L-E-R-R-A-J-A. -E -A. Um, I, I can't, I'm not as cool as you, Aki, with the signs. It's a lot of practice. It's so much practice. Uh, um, uh, and uh, Max, where can they find your weird ass? You can find my ass online <laughs> at brosismovies.com. Um you sometimes can also get my face, but it's mostly just my ass. Um, I prefer the face, Max. I love you, but I definitely have prefer a your decent face. butt. I'm going to go out there and say it's a solid six and a half. <laughs> but you got to see what I've got at home, man. What I've, got I've at seen home. Colin's butt, and it's wonderful. Um, yeah. What did I? What did what cheeks. just happen? What did I do? Uh, <laughs> I think they're broken, Aki. <laughs> this is this is what instant regret feels like. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give us microphones. Um, <laughs> but thank you all so much for joining us on uh, for my choice and also uh, my Randy Bowtie Appreciation Club. Oh, for yeah, sure, it is, it is a, a club that is yeah. me too. It's, uh, just... it's it's a good bow tie and. <laughs> Yeah, I'm Aki. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mix Genie and a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. Uh, and all joking aside, New Pantheon Academia comes back on Sunday at 4 p.m. And I'm in it, and I'm very excited to bring back Emancipation Brown, who is just an adorable bean. Oh, I adore them so much. Uh, but I'm also really excited because tomorrow on Life Action Roleplay at 7 p.m., I 7 8. Oh, I should really remember what time it is that I'm doing this. Check out my socials. Uh, but I will be playing Alice 
is missing uh, with a really fantastic group. I'm playing a different character this time than I played last time on Sunday. Uh, so if you want to see me do more feelsy silent RPG, definitely check that out tomorrow. Um, and yeah, that's, that's, oh, and I, I, sorry, I do actually have quite a few announcements tonight. If you were paying attention to Twitter today, you might've noticed that I announced a brand new show with a really baller cast of people. I will be playing a Critical Role Wild Mount campaign um, with Critical Bard and a bunch of other amazing people. My guy guest, Nick the Tiefling, uh, Michael Kritz, and uh, Kelly, the opera, uh, the opera singer. Um, I'm, I'm, oh, and Gil the blacksmith is our, is our, uh, is our um, GM. It's, yeah, it's pretty fucking awesome. Thanking amazing cast. And I'm like, I'm playing in this game. So yeah, that starts on March 20th at 1.30 p.m. Uh, and yeah, that is all the time that we have for today. I want to say thank you to Dom, our producer, as always, for uh, giving us the space to tell the these zany, zany stories. And all of you in the uh, uh, audience that come and support us every week. Uh, we will see you here again next week at the same time, same place for what's next. Until Thank then, you. remember, you don't need a GM to play, just an amazing table with amazing players and your imaginations. Bye. Thank you.